Yeah, welcome back to the Matthews. Um, where we've been talking in Math 7 about probability. Specifically in this video, we're going to be talking about compound events and how we can we can work through some of those. So we have how many different home theater systems can we make? from six DVD players, eight TVs, and three brand new speakers. So obviously we're not gonna have, generally we're gonna have one DVD player, but for this, the contents of this event, we have six DVD players, eight TVs, three speakers. So we're going to multiply them all together and that's using the fundamental counting principle. So we're just going to go six, six possibilities times eight possibilities times three possibilities gives us a total of 144. Okay, and that's known as our fundamental, fundamental counting principle where you can just multiply all of them together and you can figure out what, um, what our total number of outcomes are. Okay, you flip, so then B, you flip two pennies. What is the probability of flipping two heads? So we're, we use a tree diagram here. So we're letting H be heads and T be tails. So we have our first flip, we either go heads or tails. And then our second flip, we either go heads or tails. So depending on what our first flip is, so we go first flip is heads, second flip is heads. So we have a... We have four possible outcomes over here. So there is one favorable outcome in the sample, or the sample space for flipping two heads, so HH. So the event, so, not, so our probability of this event, number of favorable outcomes over number of possible outcomes. So, so the probability of two heads, so one, we have one and then four possible outcomes. So the probability is one fourth or 25%. Um, I would like to spend a little more time talking about the fundamental counting principle. So we have within this, you have the situation where you have a spinner that has five sides to it. Okay, or five, five outcomes. Let's say it's like, this spinner we looked at earlier on page um, 256. So we have this spinner that has um, one through five. We have a coin with two possible outcomes. And then we have a die with six possible outcomes. Okay, so we want to know, we're going to spin the flip spinner, flip the coin, and roll the die. We want to know how many possible outcomes we have. So with our fundamental counting principle, we're going to go 5 times 2 times 6. Okay, so 5 times 2 is 10, times 6 gives us 60 possible outcomes with this. So we have 60 possible outcomes with this event. Okay. Uh, we can also use our fundamental counting principle for... Um, finding out the probability of a certain event happening with each one of these. So I want to know the probability of spinning less than three. And then um, flipping heads. And then rolling a greater than or bigger or greater than four. Okay, so now I need to take less than three. So I have I have the favorable outcomes for that would be a one and a two would be less than three. So that is two out of five. Flipping the heads is one, one half. And rolling greater than a four, that would give me a five and a six would be those. So that's two out of six. OK, 
Okay, I'm gonna multiply all of these probabilities together. So two times one times two gives me four. Five times two times six gives me 30. So four over 30, which reduces down to two over 15. No, this should be 60, I'm sorry. Which this reduces down to one over 15. I'm sitting here looking at my math, wondering what I did wrong. Okay, so we have a one in 15 probability of this event happening, of less than a three on a spinner, uh, flipping a heads and rolling a greater than four. So we can multiply our probabilities for three different events happening and figure out our overall um, probability happening. 